gentlemen, it's your man RTP Skull Gang in the building. You already know what Skull time it is. We are here. <laughs> here, we here live in effect. We got this game, Little Big Workshop. Uh, it's basically about owning a business. Uh, you know, basically owning a business. Uh, and. Uh, you know, we're, 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 it's a workshop. You own your own business. We're going to call this workshop, let's go ahead and call it the Doo Doo Factory. Because we're going to have a lot of crap. So, I played a little bit of it just to get the. Uh, just to get the. Uh, Just to get the uh, tutorial out the way, I kind of got the tutorial out the way. I don't exactly know how to play it, but this will be a highlight, so you ain't got to worry about, you know, about boring stuff. Um, you'll see all the, the good stuff, basically. Mirage Game Studios presents. Ah, so here's my, here's my stuff. The workshop. Let's get it. So I got these two guys right here. Uh, camera, I already get all that. I know how to do all that. Move, zoom, all that. Just open up a new uh, shop, close factory. Seeing you are new here, maybe we should help each other out. Get yourself a workbench and take a look around. I'll talk again. Feel like you know already. Skip the tutorial available from the system menu. All right, good. That's what we want to do. Let's go ahead and skip the tutorial. All right, so we got about 19,000. Let's back up. We got about 19,000. Let's go ahead and hook this up the way I wanted to hook it up. Uh, uh, come on, calm down. So I figured we're going to put some workbenches right here. Uh, this is going to be our workspace right here. I'm going to put this as our storage uh, since it's real close to to the uh, dock. Uh, we'll make this the break room. Uh, that's how we did it in the beginning. I haven't really able. I haven't really made any land, new land, or done any any of that yet. But we'll see how we get down how this works. I'm gonna create a break room, put a workstation. Uh, first, first I'm gonna create the. Uh, first I'm gonna create storage area, and then we'll do the break room because they're gonna need somewhere to chill, getting everything else put together. So let's go ahead and do that. So I got these two zones. I'm gonna put some shelves on here. Maybe stack them up. That way, that way they got more room that they can make out of this space. All right. So I got three big shelves. I got two shelves right here. We're gonna put that. Go ahead and buy that. So thousand two hundred. Hopefully, man, we make enough money because this, this money gonna go fast. And I don't know if this is gonna work, but we're gonna get it. See the guy already coming through. Let's go ahead and start building on this uh, break room real quick and get some stuff in the break room that way they don't pass out on me all right so we got the shelves are up let's see if we can start rebuilding that break room so i don't know why it's not letting me build a break room maybe we should build uh start building the shop maybe after building the shop that'll let me uh build a break room All right, so I build, let's see, it took more than half. I only got five Gs left. So I uh, hire operators and haulers to help you out in the workshop. I, uh, I could hire a hauler. Let's go ahead and, and hire by a, a hauler. Recruit one hauler. Uh, you know, and an operator, might as well. I, I, I don't know how this is gonna go. I'm already down 5,000. I better, uh, I gotta do, let's see if it lets me do the break now. Make, make, let me do a break room. Uh, it still don't let me do a break room. Choose where to place. Why isn't it letting me, why doesn't it let me do a break room? Alright, that's right. Okay. I gotta 
add one of those first. I'm already over my budget, bro. Exit, return to shop. No. That coffee's fine. Like that, return to shop. Um, that's 2,000. All right, let's see if we can work on something that's cheap. So we just decided to uh, we just decided to this contract has been accepted already. Okay, so we just accepted this contract. We're gonna get that done with. He give us a couple of something, something, and as soon as we do that. I do want to do so I like this because this is different this is different than before uh, demand price five man we're gonna do these next definitely like to do that next let's see what we got Operation set. Uh, I don't want this to be. I'll do any of this. Uh, do that after. Choose material. Two ten. that that looks good how many uh, material three salary da, da, da. operations we need 10 deliverable Let's see how this goes. So it looks like they're still putting uh, our stuff for delivery. They're still bringing in our stuff for the uh, for the break room. So see them finish it. Oh, what's, oh, they want they want some stuff. They're not happy with the with the noise in the room, I mean in the workshop, even though they haven't worked yet, but they're not happy with it. So I gotta put some plants and stuff in here so they like the workshop better. All right, so we got two plants up. The noise, as you can see on the top on the red, it's uh, minus 29, I got the comfort at 30, so it's one point good, good enough uh, to where they're happy there. Uh, here in the break room, I really don't understand what this stuff means, 10 days. Uh, three cups of coffee. I'll, I'll look that up, but they look happy right now. So, got down here. They're starting to make, uh, starting to make uh, them them small benches or small shelves or whatever. Uh, we should be shipping those off. We got four thousand. We're losing money right now, but that's okay because we're gonna be making some money once once these shelves go out. And we'll see what happens after that. All right, so I've 
decided to, to put another workbench as you can see I bought another another wood workbench so they can go faster because I got two places for them to put products together but I only have one place for them to cut things up and glue things up so I got them another workbench so they can go a little faster I got another plant to keep the mood morale good um, we just sold the, the benches I went up to like 5,000 but then I lost money because I bought the workbench so now let's try to go instead of doing um, instead of trying to let's see how it is now that I want to do this uh, two two See, we're gonna have cut that there. You could cut this here. We can do that right there as well. And we can put that right there. Uh, let's get into this 15. Let's execute. Let's go. Let's see what we got. Uh, we could turn research and development. And what's this? Okay, so a lot has happened. Um, as you can see, I've opened this up. I've built more space for the workstation. I've I've just really this guy. I don't know if he fell or he's exhausted. I don't know what happened to him. He better not try to sue me because I got the best lawyers and I will. Anyways, um, so what's been going on is I've been figuring out the game. Um, I haven't gotten the break room better, but I probably will later. Um, I understand now what's going on as far as over here. Uh, I could throw these scraps away or I can wait for the market to open up again and sell them again because right now nobody's buying them. So I got a few left over. I could throw them away, but I'm just going to keep them. I might as well. I have them on the shelf. Um, right now, I'm doing back scratchers. Uh, they're on the market right now. I'm doing 25 of them. I figured out how to do the workstations. I figured out, as you can see, the shelves and stuff like that. Um, it is, you know, I had to sell some shelves to make room for whatever that. I, there was a, a bat with a spike that I was selling. I was actually making really good money from it. Um, my money has gone down to, I was up, I was back up to like the 3,000s, 4,000s. Um, I've lost money. Since then, I, I, I hired some workers and a mover again. Um, I'm getting these back scratchers done. Uh, I'm up to, tw to 10, so once I deliver some of these back scratchers, I should be getting back up in the money. Um, let me see, it looks like this thing is about to, you know, let somebody fix that real quick. But it looks like uh, this is working out. I'm going back down, like I said, but... Um, in fact, I think, look, I think I can... Project priority, project overview, uh, show off work. What does that mean? Yeah, so I can deliver what I got right now. That's dope. Okay. So I can deliver what I have right now. I got 13 of them. They're going to deliver those. That's good. So. Uh, you should avoid building too many workbenches. Machines are much more efficient. Machines are... Uh, what machines are you talking about? Alright, so like I said, I think I'm getting the hang of it. We're just finishing our shipment right now. As you can see, our people are sending those back scratchers. Once that goes off, I should get a nice little stack of cash. Maybe a couple Gs. Four Gs. Let's see what happens right now. Uh, I'm going to buy another a metal shop I think it is or something to make these ducks I only need uh, that shop and that one that you can see this right here that's not even being used all I need is those two things to make these ducks and they're for a good price I have somebody working on that making money for that I have somebody continuing to make back scratchers uh, let's see 5G's I got 5G's now so let's see let's go 
here. We're going to go here. These ducks are selling for 150 a piece. There's 44 units that are being asked to be made. I'll make 40 of them. Everything's here. We're going to go with, I guess that's the cheapest. So we're going to go there. Uh, like I said, that's already been there. We need this. Let's put this. Mood of 10. I'm going to put that. You know what? We're just going to put this right here. Just going to put that right there. Order that. Uh, use construction to expand your workshop to get more space. Yeah, I know that. I know that. So right now, I'm still in the mood of one. So we're good there. Uh, let's go back to... Well, let's fast forward this. Make them someone... Boom. So now that's up. Let's go back. Let's get that contract. Link it to there. We're going to make 40... that it's only gonna take about 500 right let's see yep about 500 that's what's up 40 of those that's gonna they're gonna get to work on that let's go team money over here wants me to play some fortnite and we're gonna get to fortnite 17 units 240 we're gonna go ahead and Go ahead and make these. Right. This plan would produce more items than the market is currently willing to buy. Are you sure you want a good idea? Yeah, I got. Yeah, I see what you're saying. Uh, current nine. I only need seven and eight. So let's go. What's the cheapest wood? Boom. Is that the cheapest wood? 24, no, 18, there you go, 18, one, so that's that, is this the cheapest, boom, right there, that's the cheapest, alright, okay, cool, did it goes on too, uh, we're gonna do that, obviously, boom, 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 let's get this, that, and let's get this, there and let's get this there and we're gonna do I believe it was 17 right execute uh let's see yep it was 17 units so we're gonna stop right here um so as you can see i got they're gonna start working on the ducks um they're bringing out all the material right now that's gonna start working on those double o quack ducks we're gonna make 40 of those that's gonna be a nice piece of cash um we got the back scratchers that we coming up we got these certain back scratchers that are gonna go for a good amount of change each then we still got a whole bunch of back scratchers uh there won't be as much but they're still bringing some profit like, as you can see i'm at three g's now and uh and you know what not only that but you know i'll wait i'll wait i was gonna put in a uh a new snack machine for the break room but i'll wait till some of these orders go through and i bring up the cash more i'm, I'm tired of being on the uh you know i might need some more space man nah these these ducks and the back scratchers can can stack up on the shelf. So. All right. Anyways, I'm gonna go play some some Fortnite. I'll be back. All right, I'm back. We're back from playing some very frustrating Fortnite, but we're back. Let's get back to what we were doing. We had the 40 ducks that were supposed to be no deadline, no deadline. 40 ducks are supposed to be coming coming in. Building on 40 dogs, 17 back scratchers. Uh, and I think I was supposed to do 
some more back scratchers. I'm not a hundred percent sure. Let me see. Let's see. Uh, 17, I was that one. And then 20. Which. This was going to be. Damn it. <sighs> How do I do this? Okay, I'll be back. All right, so I got this work workbench and this workbench right here working together to create the zero out of 17 back scratchers. And I got, or actually it's this workbench and this workbench to create that. And I got this workbench and this workbench to help create the 20 back scratchers of another kind. And then I got this workbench, which is this workbench and this thing helping to create those uh, double O quack ducks, which they are coming along pretty fast. I already got 10 of them made, uh, 11 now. So we got that. We got this guy that's bringing in all kind of material for the back scratchers. Looks like the. Looks like. Oh, no, no, no. So the back scratcher is not being made, but. The. Uh, all the parts for the back scratchers are being made and just not being put together yet. So we got 14, 15. Those quacks are really coming in fast. That's good. They're going to be a good profit. I think right now we got enough stuff in the lunchroom, which I think I will. Yeah, I see. There's a lot of people. A lot of people trying to get. If you can see right here, there's three little dots, two little dots. Now and then there's going to be a third dot. Those are the, the, the coffees. So see, so you just took the coffee. There's two coffees left. And then it takes a while, and now there's three coffees left. So as long as there's coffee, they'll be able to relax and, and get to work faster. We're losing money. We're at 700. Uh -oh. The worker has collapsed. From exhaustion, you can prevent this by making sure there are always plenty of break points available in your break room. Um... So somebody fell. I don't know who. I'm saying somebody collapsed. I don't know who collapsed. Oh, this is. Oh, someone gotta fix this. Now that's what I need to figure out. The break room. Enough break points in the break room. Let's see what if I can figure that out. So my workshop just exploded. I got her fixing it, but yeah, it's not great. Uh, I'm trying to see 13 more ducks. Let's get 13 more ducks going. to this like
applications. Sort the queue based on project priority. Why is nobody using this workstation? So we got it. I figured out. So the reason why they weren't doing both of them at the same time was because I was putting the plan. If you can see, when I was selecting these, what I was linking it to, I was linking it to one of these, thinking it would end up doing both. But you have to link it straight to the board right here and it, the board will automatically put it to these two so that's what it is so i gotta link it to the board instead of linking it to one or the other and when you link it to the board the board is linked up to these two now i also learned how to take this and now this workshop is making 14 of those and i can go to here go to the 14 split it and then split it like that and then I don't want to do it now but then put it on the other board so it'll help with that so I've, I've definitely got this going now to where it's um, at the best it could do right now I'm at 10 I'm trying to get 40 back scratches I'm trying to see if there's anything else I can make that's going to be easy Ooh. 123 and down I mean, any 52 of those is 123 and down. That's so easy to make. Oh, my goodness. Uh, that's going to take a lot to make that, though. Back scratches I'm making right now. Let's see. Let's see. What did it take to make all this stuff? Forge, that's great. This is going to be what? Workbench, blasting heavy metal. Which I, I thought I did have that. <laughs> let's 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 go ahead and, and do the ducks and see if I can see if I can uh Go red. See if I can. Uh, mm, I need another. Actually, I don't. I don't need a workbench. I could just do it straight from there. So that's good. some money we're gonna get some more ducks try to sell as many as we can before that profit goes down and that. We'll make some money. See if we'll make some money also i don't know if you guys seen but i added a machine uh you know just uh food court whatever so you see one two three four dots one two three i'm gonna assume those are the points 
So now we shouldn't have nobody passing out. No, I thought those were just three things of coffee, three cups of coffee. But, I mean, they're technically coffee, but those are the points that they're talking about. So I got seven points all together, three points here, four points here all together. Uh, now I got five. You can see the coffee. I got five points available. Now six points available because it, you know, as you see the 22 days. As that fills up, now you're gonna see boom, it's gonna be seven. You know what I'm saying? So that's how the that's how the the points we fill. So we should be good with that. Let's see, we're at 30, 32 back scratchers. I think they did. Also, they did need. Okay, so they don't need that for the ducks, right? So we got one. They can start pressing the ducks now. All right, so the shop is moving right now. We got people doing their stuff. I got two different projects. I got the uh, dollar horse going. I got nine out of fourteen. That's going right now. I got the uh, double O quack. To continue to go after the horse is done I got the grass uh, um, a, a gated tour whatever the rake I got that to start pro going after the dollar horse the dollar horse is kind of doing a little bit of is using the wood workshop and the painting of the of the double O quack of the ducks so once that's done the double O quack will start going grass a gator will start going and then I still got uh, uh, the small shelves. I got 50 small shelves getting ready to be, uh, be built right now. They brought in all the, all the, uh, all the, uh, as you can see, all the stuff they brought that in for the shelves to be made. So that'll start being worked on right after the rakes are being done. So I got I got projects and things going on right now. Um, I'm gonna start. I got 9,000 in the bank. So we're doing good. We're looking good. We're out of the red. We got projects going. Uh, looks like our delivery is, is ready. That is shipped off. That's actually a... Actually a... Uh, what's it called? A challenge. So that's a challenge that's being done. So I am going to build a... I'm going to stretch out this break, break room all the way to the fence. We're going to start some construction here. We're gonna build this break room all the way to the fence so we have some more uh, break room because I'm going to make the workshop bigger and I'm going to obviously make this, uh, the storage area bigger because we're gonna need more storage uh, when I start putting more work and stuff like that going. We sh uh, so, homeboy's happy. Let's, let's go ahead and let's, uh, Let's do that. Let's make this break room bigger and, and make these rooms bigger to, to make our production start going uh, even bigger and, and even more at a time. You can see they're uh, building a wall up here and we'll start working on the floor pretty soon. So that's going to be good. That's bigger. But I, mean, well, I just hired another employee. So. Let's work on getting uh, the workshop going, and then after we get the workshop a little bit bigger, we're going to extend, I'm just going to extend this to about here, uh, make this a little bit bigger, and then kind of, yeah, so we'll do that. Extend the workshop just a little bit more. I mean the uh, stock room. Uh, extend the stock room a little bit more. Then we'll extend the uh, the uh, workshop. All right. So I just wanted to show you how I'm splitting. As you can see, right now, this workbench is waiting for shelves to be made, but no shelves are being made right now. Um, as you can see, 
down here in my small shelves are not being made because they're not being worked on right now. They're not being cut up. Oh, man. These gotta get repaired. These benches are working on making uh, the rakes right now. And this bench is working on, see, it's 44, making 44 of those rakes. Once those rakes get chopped up, then they take it to this bench and they connect everything together and put it all together, the, the assembly bench. So 44 rakes need to be put together in this, in this assembly bench. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go to here, split this to 22, 22, right? Now I got two sets. I got one queue of 22 being made, and then these 22 are going to be made on this bench. So I'm going to take these 22, move this entry to another workspace. I'm going to move it to this one. So now 22 is going to be made on here, and 22 is going to be made on there. So now there's plenty of room for... Now let me make sure... Now see, now I wonder since this is taking priority, the shelves are taking priority as you can see it's one and then the 22 rakes will be made next. Since it's taking priority, I wonder if it, they, won't, they won't build the rakes until the small shelves are built even though there's nothing, there's no material, uh, there's not any material that's cut up yet to assemble them together to make the shelves. So will it wait for that and those to be done before? Or, or do I have to? Oh man, that just caught on fire. That just caught on fire. Uh, workstation broken, repair to raise its operation efficiency. Okay. This one. So let's let's go ahead and make this priority change order. Move this entry to another workstation. Uh, send this entry to the back of the queue. Uh, let's, let's see. Back of the queue. I'll go with this. Back of the queue, and boom. Now let's see if we got two workstations. Yep, there it is. So, yep, so now we figured that out. We understand how that works. So I tried to expand, try to expand my workshop. For some reason, it's not letting me buy it. It's not letting me expand and buy more land. So I went to my skills. Oh, shit. Machinery. Okay. So I ended up going here and see my my blue skill five skill points. I ended up upgrading. I had like eight of my eight skill points. I ended up upgrading all this stuff. This says unlocks exports and workstation zones. All right. Uh, basic machines are four times faster than workbenches. Love it. Unlock construction tools. Build new walls, doors, and factories. I did that already. So I don't know. Now, maybe now going to challenge this guy. See, I'm building stuff here. This guy, please produce the products as specific below. Reward $5,000 for eight units. 
$5,000 for 8 units. Let's see. It's pretty much ready to go. Let's see what we can do. Let's put this about there. And 5. Why is that so much? There we go. So this will end up going. End up doing all that and end up going into one of these. So I will I will do that. It may be more efficient to separate your finished product into a zone of their own. Um, yes, I might do that. So they're working on some stuff. Let's, um... Let's move this. I, I ended up making room for my stock so let's move this There's gotta be a way to, to make my zone different. Let me check it out. Okay, so I think. So there we go. This is how we change zones. Resize zone, priority, workshop input zone, export zone. So it's either works, workstation input zone. So that's like all bringing everything in, and then this is boom. That's perfect. Let's put another workbench over here.
buckets. We got all the buckets. Delivering them now. All right, so we just got this. Uh, milestone completed. Way to go. You've done it. Your management have brought your factory to a new level. Check out R&D selection section for these new goodies. New option in the art uh, research and development section. Access to medium category items. Nice. Uh, research four points. Let's see. So we got new stuff here. Uh, basic machines are four times faster than workbenches. Basic metal machines such as foundries, abrasive saws, and presses. Using machines can be much more efficient than working by hand. So we already, I already have those though. Uh, basic machines are four times faster than workbenches, okay? Unlock basic plastic machine. Oh, so these are basic metal machines. Bla basic plastic machines. Uh, possibility to upgrade operators to wood specialists. Okay. Unlock the ability to upgrade your experienced operator to wood specialists. Specialists are much more efficient in a specific field, but they are also more expensive and require a higher level of comfort than ordinary operators, okay? Allows, allows you to expand your factory into adjacent plots, giving you more room for production or assets. I think that's, that's uh, what I was looking for. Let's see what that is. Uh, unlock unlock loading bays in the shop, okay? Uh, increase the amount of workers for hire. I don't got to worry about that yet. Uh, uh, preview two market cycles ahead of time. Oh, get ahead of uh, uh, up on market changes through advanced and accurate prediction system. This allows you to see the expected price and changes ahead of time. That is dope. I like that. What is this? Your clients may offer one additional contract at the start of each new cycle. Okay. Uh, increased cash reward for client con contract by 20%. I like that. Invest in anti-slip boot for all your workers, reducing the risk of them falling over, falling over 50%. I like that. Uh, unlock the ability to upgrade your experienced operators to assembly specialists. I uh, like that too. The specialists are much more efficient in specific field, but they are also more expensive and require blah, blah, blah. Okay, so I like that. What is this? Reduce by 20. Rent reduced by 20. A bit of lobbyism can go a long way. Your contacts in the mayor office will reduce your rent while also giving you a discount on new plot expansions. Okay, I like that. So we already did that. Uh, unload bays, we don't need that exactly yet. I don't need wood specialists yet, but this is two, four. Definitely want assembly specialist. What is this? Your clients may offer an additional contract at the start of each new. Nah, I don't care about that. We can get that later. Uh, take a class in how to give a sales pitch, granting large rewards for a client contract. It's cash, okay. You gotta increase the cash. Four more. Mm. Preview two market cycles ahead of time. Already did that. The slipping, I don't mind. <laughs> Them falling. Um, what is this? Rent reduced by 20%. Cost of acquiring new plots reduced by 40%. Rent reduce, oh yeah, rent reduce, cost of acquiring new plots. We definitely got to get, oh, it's going to be three. Mm. So I guess I'm not going to get any new machinery or none of that yet. Uh, we 
church. I really. Uh, unlock plastic machines. Unlock basic plastic machine. See, I think I already have that. All right, so we got plastic and we got metal. I've heard good things about your factory. We thought you might be able to help us out. We've prepared a test for you if you're interested. Okay. All right, so we got... We here want me to do that. Oh, some vice. Create a plan. Let's see. Oh, my goodness. Look at this. Oh, wow. And what's the... <laughs> oh, it's this dude, too. Uh, greetings, puny one. I am Blod, founder of Nemesis Incorporated. I see you have grown from invisible to hardly noticeable. I don't grow much more now or things may... Don't grow much more now or things may not work out so well for you and your business. <laughs> Nigga just hung up the phone on me like... All right. So let's go back. Oh, wait, wait. Go back to. You're gonna pay me nine G's for seven units. That's a lot, though. A lot of stuff. Let's see. Um, I got a assembly. Assembly. A lot of stuff. What is this? Foam injection machine. What is this? Man, an extra hard sell for extra raw material for a few software. Equipped with bending heavy metal. All right, well. Okay, so it was able to let me uh, get this now. We want to build the workshop a lot more bigger. There's a lot of stuff that needs. This place is gonna grow, man. Jeez, this place is gonna grow. And not only that, but now I can build. And I think we're gonna end it there. But now I can build. Oh, sorry. This allows me to now build that land. So now all these little squares, all these little squares. Look at this. Ten thousand for that, thirty-two thousand for that big thing. So all these squares now are going to uh I'm gonna be able to buy them and make it so this is really gonna this this is really gonna get big. So it's just the beginning guys. Oh, what's going on here? Three point nine, what is it? All the noise? They're not happy because of the construction of all the noise of the construction. Is that what it is? Well, we're going to leave it here. I'm going to upload this, and uh, by the time you guys see this, I'll probably be um, um, come back tomorrow and see, see how much more we can get this. Uh, This company going, man. It's growing. Doo Doo Factory is definitely growing. See how much we can grow with it. It's pretty fun. Anyways, that's it. Shaman RTP. We're out. Deuce.